us as well, but that can wait for a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, so we're just enjoying our um, summer yeah, summer like weather. It hasn't been too hot in Perth. It's just uh, becoming okay. hotter. Um, and then we have a cool day and then we have some more heat. Mm -hmm. Gracie's just come in, but I don't know if I can get her. Let me say hello. Come on. Excuse me, folks. I'm just getting her. Because those of you who are new haven't met Gracie. So this is Gracie. She's not a cuddly cat, but she loves us. She's very affectionate, but she's not particularly happy to be cuddled. And now I shall have white fur all over my, my T-shirt, but that's okay. And she, she wants her own chair, yes. which Shirley is sitting on. So <laughs> that's... Hmm. So she's a big girl. She's nearly four. She's a rag doll, and um, we love her to bits. So, so this is Gracie. You'll hear about her when Mike, you know, writes his newsletters. So those of you who are new, uh, let her go. She's too hot and fluffy. Um, <laughs> there you go. I'm covered in fur. <laughs> um, so. Welcome to um, lots of new members as well who just joined up today. So I'm going to read out your first names. So I'll start from down the bottom there. So the, uh, welcome to Annette, to Joe, to Rhonda, to Paul, to Kevin, to Razia, to Greta. Hi Greta, I know Greta personally. And Izzy and Ruth. Hello Ruth, I know you personally as well. And Adam, Adam as well. So. Great to welcome you all to our Facebook Live. I hope you're all on there and um, watching. And Mike's got some really um, good information to share with you tonight. So yeah, tell your friends about our Facebook Live. They don't have to have bought an Oscar or even an ESL. Anybody can join. And it's just fun, you know, it's fun getting together and we can share with you the knowledge that we have. The reason what Mike's talking about um, peripheral neuropathy tonight is because yesterday we addressed the um, per peripheral neuropathy support group at the niche in Netherlands. And the couple that have been running that, uh, Ron and June, have been running that for 21 years. Don't you think that's fantastic? Yeah, 21 years they've faithfully run this monthly um, support group for people suffering from peripheral neuropathy and I just think that's just they, they need some recognition I think for that dedication so that was a really great uh, morning to share with them that was actually my third time speaking with that group in the last well since about 2007 so it was great to meet some of them again and to meet some new folk as well so that got Mike thinking about peripheral mm. neuropathy mm. and so he decided we'd talk a bit about it. I so it I'm going to hand over to you, I think. I yeah. thought it was a, a, a good uh, thing to bring in so early yeah. in the piece. Now, for those of you who uh, have just joined us and never been onto one of our Facebook lives before, um, you will note that sometimes uh, things don't go according to plan. <laughs> And that is because um, I am actually the producer, the uh, audio guy, the video guy, the technical guy. And normally you would have about six or seven people that are involved in a production like this. And I, I'm just going to show you something. Uh, this, this is the screen in front of me at the moment. This is what I've got in front of me. And as you can see, as my these are, these are all the uh, slides that are loaded, pre-loaded into the system. And when I click on any one of these, you'll see that they pop up in that window on the left-hand side. And uh, these will be uh, what you eventually see when I click the uh, button here to either uh, zoom across from one to the other. And uh, it makes it quite interesting, but normally you would have somebody else doing that for you. Uh, so I have to do everything. And I don't see him at all on the um, the day or two before this Facebook Live. Yeah, just for a meal, just for a cup of coffee. <laughs> it usually takes about He's, a whole day to put this together. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then we stuff things up by uh, clicking the wrong button at the wrong time. So anyway. 2020 so is going to be New Year. It's going to be the New Year. This is the actual 18th presentation that we've done Facebook Live using this system. So you think that we ha would get used to it. But there are so many things that have to be adjusted. Mm -hmm. Like, we've got three microphones here. You can't see them, but we've got three. There's one above, above me, one on the desk, and one next to Shirley. And to get them matched so that they sound right, uh, the right volumes and the, the volumes of everything that we, like even the introductory there, 
um, <coughs> takes a bit of uh, setting up. So, okay, so what are we doing? I'll think We're actually talking about, uh, the, the, the question is, can PEMF therapy help neuropathy? So first of all, what is PEMF? It stands for PEMF. It's an abbreviation of Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy, and I will actually come back to that a little bit uh, later. Uh, to explain what it's all about. But um, neuropathy, fi figures vary from country to country, but it's an estimate that, it's only an estimate too, that around 10% of Western civilizations suffer from uh, conditions known as uh, peripheral neuropathy. So here's my first one, uh, peripheral neuro neuropathy. Um, or I'm going to say PN because it's a mouthful to get around. Mm -hmm. It occurs when the peripheral nerves, they're the, the outside the central nervous system in the brain and the, and the, uh, and the spinal cord, uh, they're damaged or diseased and this condition can cause uh, numbness or a pain throughout the body, uh, most often in the hands and the feet. And uh, some people have suggested, particularly with the feet, uh, it, it's a bit like walking on, on glass or barbed wire, mm -hmm. so it, it's not a very pleasant uh, experience. You can of course experience this in other areas of the body, but it seems to be predominantly uh, in, in those areas. So peripheral, um, uh, where are we, peripheral uh, neuropathy, as I said, occurs in the, uh, in the peripheral nerves. The peripheral nerves make up the communication network that connects the brain and the spinal cord to muscles, skin, internal organs. And uh, you, you can see this uh, in the image that I'm going to show you in a second, if I can find it. Where is it? Here it is. In this image, uh, you can see how this network of peripheral nerves connect to the central nervous system in the, in the spinal cord, which then relays that uh, all that sensory information to the brain. Now, you, it's the, the spinal cord is obviously that thick uh, yellow line in the middle there that leads up to the brain. And now, when these nerves are damaged, the pain signals that are sent out they tell you that something is wrong. And there, there are many causes uh, of um, uh, PM, including diabetes, uh, chemo-induced neuropathy hereditary disorders, uh, inflammatory infections, um, autoimmune diseases, protein abnormalities, um, exposure to toxic chemicals, that's called toxic neuropathy, uh, kidney failure, uh, chronic alcoholism, al alcoholism uh, what's another one, poor nutrition, and uh, even certain medications. Uh, it's quite that, common apparently. Yeah, yeah. Now I, I think I've got a list of them here, if I can find that one, yeah, here we go. Um, th these are some of the more common uh, causes uh, that are listed on your screen there. You can see diabetic uh, peripheral neuropathy, a DPN, is the most common type of, of peripheral neuropathy. And PM. I'll just say PM. <laughs> uh, and today it's estimated that 60 to 7%, 70% of, of diabetics have DPN. Uh, cancer patients, 30 to 40% of chemo. Uh, induced peripheral neuropathy uh, have uh, that's 30 30 percent 30 to 40 percent of all cancer patients and typically um, in, in occurring in middle-aged groups and I guess that uh, that's uh, Shirley and I uh, it's estimated that 23 percent of all neuropathy patients are diagnosed with idiopathic neuropathy now that means uh, the uh, uh, that there's no other identifiable cause, so they call that the, the, the primary cause. Mm. So that, that's uh, some of the common conditions. And system, symptoms vary uh, depending on the condition causing the neuropathy, but often include uh, stabbing, burning or tingling sensations. And as you've seen on, on that Im image, uh, your peripheral nervous system consists of a a variety of nerves with specific functions. I'll just pop that back up again. Um, so depending on the types of nerves affected, uh, the pain experience is going to vary. Now neuropathy can affect uh, one in several, one or several nerves at the same time. 
Uh, most frequently, many uh, nerves are affected by per peripheral neuropathy at the same time. But whatever the underlying cause, neuropathy is uh, or can be extremely painful. It's debilitating uh, as well. And, and it is. It's, yeah, it's, because we met some people yesterday, you know, and they have difficulty walking and, um, you know, holding things. Sometimes they, that's, they that's drop fine. things. So yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not just pain even, is it? No, that's right. So, whilst the underlying cause of neuropathy is painful, one, while conventional treatment can uh, include um, uh, medication for pain, PEMF, I'm going to call it PEMF because it's easier to say than uh, pulsed electromagnetic field therapy, PEMF therapy can provide the same results but with no side effects and no danger of addiction. You know, one of the big problems that we have in society today, and this, this is worldwide, and doctors are really concerned about this um, in America, particularly Western civilizations, uh, and, and in Europe we've been using uh, PEMF therapy for, for many, many years. In fact, PEMF has been around for 60 odd years, um, and possibly longer more actually, now. more now. Um, and uh, it, it's developed to a point now where it is affordable and uh, more manageable. So conventional treatments for pain often involve medical, medication or surgical procedures and these treatments are expensive, they're risky and often they don't address the underlying problem, they're just there to, to mask the issue, mask the pain. pain Long-term use of painkiller medication is, an, uh, is a problem around the world and it can of course lead to addiction. Now one well-known doctor in the USA, and I'm, I'm not going to mention his name for legal reasons, but um, if, if you like to Google PEMF, I'm sure his name will come up. Um, it's difficult, he says, it's difficult to get conventional physicians to consider more mainstream alternative treatments like acupuncture, massage and chiropractic care. It's nearly impossible to get them to look at PEMF therapy, but they should. And that's what he says. Now he's been involved, he's the world authority on pulsed electromagnetic field therapy, PEMF. Now, patients who discover PEMF, let me just get this other slide, patients who, uh, who um, uh, have discovered PEMF, they've, they've normally tried other methods and, and uh, they just haven't worked and that's, uh, and, and that's for the reason that PEMF therapy works on the source of pain which may not be where the pain manifests. This, this is one of the big problems we sometimes try to treat the area that's causing the pain, mm. but we miss out on the fact that it's it's the underlying, where is the underlying damage that's causing that mm. pain. So, um, it, it, it... Oh, we've got a blank screen. Oh. Oh dear. Is that because of the pussy cat? No, mm. it wasn't. Um, I think oh, okay. what's Keep happened is... I. There you go. I hit a, I hit a wrong button, didn't I? I hit a uh, fade to black button by mistake. Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's yeah. Sorry about that. I don't know when I hit that uh, fade to black button. So I might just go I, back. I was just going to um, add to that, Michael. That mm. um, some of the people yesterday, when we after we'd done the um, the talk at the PM group, they were quite um, interested and pleased to know that the Oscar covers a larger area than just mm. you know so sometimes yeah. you don't quite know where the source is do you that's right so really with pn if it's hands and feet you really would just hold it in your hands or rest your feet on, yeah, on the would. oscar wouldn't yeah. you? but if you wanted to walk around you could strap it to your ankle and it would still be effective on absolutely your feet, yeah. or even you could strap it onto your forearm yeah so it covers the size to, of yeah, a beach ball yes well. yeah so if you were like um, had trouble with your hands, you could just, and you wanted to keep doing things at home, you could just strap it, say, That's here. Right. Yeah. Mm. Well, and just, just in case I blacked that out, hit the wrong button. That, it's that's what I was just going to do. Right? No, yeah. Just a it wasn't, ago. Okay. okay. Just in case you yeah. didn't see that, this is the uh, peripheral neuro, neuro, the peripheral nervous system, and uh, you can see that it extends right throughout the body and connects up. Uh, just, just in case I blacked that out, hit the wrong button. Okay, just in case you didn't see that. Thanks. That's, that's surely That's pressing me. wrong buttons. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry. Okay, just in case you didn't see that, this is the peripheral nervous system and all the connections throughout the body connecting through to the, uh, the spinal cord, uh, which is the big yellow thick line uh, there. So and I'm sure that you did see uh, the, uh, the common uh, causes of... Uh, what happened? Yeah. You disappeared. Oh, just see yeah, that. No, yeah, Shirley. No, just leave that alone, Shirley. Yeah, but I'm looking at the comments. Stop mucking about with it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, we'll get back to where we we'll get back to where we were. Okay, <laughs> and, and as I said before, it's essential to understand that the the, uh, the source of pain, where the damage is, it, is that's where we have to target PEMF. So it's important to to get to the the cause of it. Um, as neuropathy results from many chronic conditions, uh, Oscar Pulse is an excellent long-term therapeutic solution to aid in the, in the management of these conditions. And uh, uh, used consistently over extended periods, then Oscar Pulse uh, PEMF therapy can achieve levels of pain reduction that make life more enjoyable. And without the, uh, any of the risks associated with the use of long-term painkiller medication. And uh, so it really is important uh, to, to remember that, um, where is it, here it is, painkiller medication is meant for short-term use only. And while PEMF used by Oscar Pulse is, is a s sustainable long-term solution, uh, that's it's one product that we recommend thoroughly and the beauty of it is you, you don't have uh, it, it's it's a game changer because you've got nothing to lose we, we have a money-back guarantee system on it um, and if at the end of a period of time uh, you decide that the Oscar pulse is, is not effective for you then you do get a complete refund mm. now it, what pharmaceutical uh, product can you buy and consume that will give you a money-back guarantee if it doesn't work mm. even surgery if it doesn't work um, has cost you a lot more pain and a lot more uh, money obviously so it can be uh, the Oscar Pulse is, is an option that should be tried before uh, you use any other if, if you've used painkiller medication short term that's fine um, but you shouldn't be using it for any longer than three months and uh, after yeah, that have, then yeah, uh, some people just have to you know it, that because they don't it, have it an depends hospital, on what it depends is. on what it is yeah, so it some depends on what it is don't have any alternative let's face but it can it. lead to um, addiction mm, and uh, in, in that America too. that is a real problem at the mm. moment so peripheral neuropathy um, yes it is uh, very common now I did say at the beginning there it affects about 10 percent of our population the the fact is uh, that when you go on to Google and you uh, do a, a worldwide search on PN um, in America they're saying 80 percent uh, of the population uh, is suffering from a PN um, uh, other countries are saying 50 and 60 percent I don't know where those figures are coming from uh, but I think um, it's fair to say the, the source that I went to right at the, at the last minute uh, said around about 10%, between 10 and 15%, but um, I, I'm going to say 10% for Australia. Uh, maybe it's more, but it's still a lot of people suffer from PN. I'm so, having fun here because I'm, I've, I've worked out now, finally, yay. after all of these times, how to see your comments. But I get so engrossed in, in so excuse me, looking away. But I get so engrossed in the um, listening to Michael that, yeah, so there's Pat and she saw Gracie and then there's um, Bev and it, Rachel's watching from England. Hello, hey, Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> um, How's the snow over there? And Yeah, and she Is thought it, it was um, the internet connection. And Bev says, where have you gone? But anyway, we're back. Judy's, uh, Margaret's watching. Judy's watching. Two others, but I don't know. Who, I can't find who you are. And then David Frost. Welcome, David. Yep, better late than never. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. So, oh, this is fun. I like seeing the comments much better. Done. But I have to look elsewhere to see them away from the camera, so. Mm, it's down, it's, it's, it's down here. there. 
Um, mm. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, uh, if you can hear a bit of a buzzing sound in the background, it's the fan in my computer. It's quite warm in my studio here. I can't put the air conditioner on because it makes too much noise. And the fan in my uh, computer is working at 100%, uh, trying to keep it cool. And it's a bit of a noisy fan, so my apologies for that. So, um, Did you pick up a little bit earlier on, um, I didn't like to introduce Michael when he was in the middle of his spiel, but uh, he said something about PN affects um, middle-aged to uh, only elderly more often. He said, so middle-aged, that would that'd be where Shirley and I are. Well, I, I, I hate, to, hate to enlighten him, but I think we're actually in the elderly, elderly. category. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't like to think of myself as being an elderly. <laughs> Our kids are middle-aged. <laughs> yeah, okay. I get really upset when I see a um, something in the newspaper about an elderly man of 65 uh, was knocked over or you know fell over in the street or something like that yeah hey uh, that's that's not elderly <laughs> actually um gary hi gary gary's um come on hi, gary. Um, and rachel's just said and they live in in england down near um cambridge cambridge and she says very wet and windy and um our our cousin gary who comes over here twice a year Gary sent photographs today. Yesterday it was wet and windy. Today he had snow, so it was, yeah. Um, one thing I missed out on is um, the importance of the right foods. Now, Shirley and I <coughs> have been on this, uh, well, since Christmas, <laughs> um, making sure that we eat all the right foods. Um, and Shirley is a fantastic cook. And it's a, it's a real problem when we uh, go out because I can't take her to a restaurant without her criticising and saying, I could have done a better job than this. Um, so, so that's why we don't go out as often as we should. No, anyway. Um, have you put up that picture of the food? Yeah, oh, I, I did. did. I just oh, had I it up there. One, oh, you missed the food. Yeah, yeah. Shelly was on wow. there again. There, yeah, that's about is. how we eat most yeah, of the time. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. And... Um, so this is this is the last uh, piece on that this subject. Try a new solution for neuropathy. If you're experiencing pain, numbness, burning, tingling, or pain due to neuro neuropathy, you should try the Oscar Pulse PEMF device because no drugs, ah. non. Did you get stung? Just got stung by a bee. Oh, really? oh. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Uh, non, it's non-invasive <clears throat> and there are no side oh. effects and Shirley just got stung by a bee. Yeah, a bee flew in and um, I get? flicked it off, but I've, yeah, I flicked it, I've taken my ring off, but I flicked away the sting. Oh, so nice. I'll go in and put some ice on it when we wind this up because it's <laughs> starting to swell and itch. Oh, well, we've got another five minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, the yeah. Perth Caravan Show is coming up very uh, closely now. It's only about, I um, don't know how many weeks away, but uh, it is on the 18th to the 22nd of March and uh, from 9 till 5. And we have a stand there, as you can see, it's the uh, Stand 80 in the Silver Jubilee Lifestyle Pavilion. and. Uh, if you would like to come talk to us there, we'd be quite happy to see you. And I'll even buy you a cup of coffee, as long as there's not 10 or 12 people around the stand that we're looking after. But um, yeah, come and have a chat. And um, if you've never been to the uh, caravan camping show before, it's not all about caravans and, uh, um, and, and camping. Uh, inside, I don't know whether I've got a photograph, well, oh, there's yeah, one. Yeah, yeah that, that's um, representative of some of the machinery. It's uh, exercise machinery there, but it looks a um, bit hard to tell what it is, actually. But there's lots and lots of things in the uh, Silver Jubilee Pavilion. <laughs> Shelly's still being attacked by this bee. I'm attacking that bee. It's a horrible thing. I love bees, but that one was a bit aggressive. I might have been a wasp, actually. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, uh, yeah, one other thing before all, we close. My fingers all swelling up and burning and going red. So oh dear. hurry up and sign okay, up. Okay, I'm going to sign up. <laughs> I need it's some first ice. Time <laughs> um, but people have said, okay, uh, I love your backgrounds. Um, how do you do that? Um, well, uh, we, we have, um, uh, one minute, I, we could be um, sitting there with the uh, 
Lots of Perth. Lots of Perth behind mm. us. If you've been uh, to visit us, you'll you'll know that, yeah, um, that view that's, across that's the Swan yeah. River from mm. South Perth. Beautiful, um, isn't it? So we, we we're actually sitting behind a green screen. Um, and uh, so I can project anything that I want on the back, which makes it a little bit more interesting than just looking at a green screen. Um, have I got a green screen there? I uh, don't no, know whether I can show you the green screen. No. Can you both say no, hello? Oh, okay. Um, Bev wants to know, can we, um, how long can you apply Oscar for? For PN, okay. Um, Good question, Bev. I would probably go through the 90 minute program or even the three hour program, you know, like two lots of 90 or if you've got the three hour one, you could you could do that uh, because it can't hurt. It can really only only help you. So you, you could start off um, perhaps even if you if you felt like it, you could perhaps start off for 30 minutes when it goes beep and it switches, it goes into the second cycle. But if it was me, I would um, go straight for the whole lot. And then I'd probably do it twice a day, mm. maybe three times a day. But you all know I'm a great believer in Oscar. Yeah. I'll see what other questions are here. Um, just, um, just Ethel on. asked if we were going to the caravan show, and well, you've already answered yeah. that. Yeah. Yes, Ethel, we okay. will be at the caravan show. Oh, thanks, David. David says my profile's okay. My side profile's okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was only a finger that got oh. stung. Mm, sorry about that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yes, using the Oscar for a lengthy period. Um, it, it actually runs three 30-minute cycles in that 90-minute period, because and each 30 minutes has four different treatment programs within that 30-minute section. So it starts off with one phase into the next, into the next, into the next, and then starts that complete cycle all over again uh, for three 30-minute cycles. Uh, finishing, uh, automatically switching off at the finish of 90 minutes. You can give it a gap, uh, go and get a glass of water, uh, make sure that you drink, uh, yeah, you drink, drink. increase your fluid yeah. intake yes. because it does stimulate the lymph system and it helps to drain toxins from the area that's been treated. Um, so that that is important to uh, not necessarily increase your fluid intake if you're drinking enough anyway, but please don't get dry. Um, and uh, the three-hour version obviously runs six 30-minute programs, and uh, but they're all back-to-back. -back. And uh, the three-hour version uh, has a, a, a different... There are some differences in its operation, not, not huge, but it is designed in, in San Diego for, uh, or in the USA for, specifically for doctors over there. They wanted something was different to the 90-minute version, and that's why. Uh, now it's not advertised on our website because it's only available in America through a doctor. You can't buy it over the counter. So for that reason you won't see it on our website. Uh, ah, yes, just remind that just remind me, I've got to close up now because we're it's uh, eight o'clock. Um, India. Um, oh yeah, nearly forgot. Yeah, there, there is an Indian website up and running. And uh, what I will do on the uh, on the pain-free world, I'll put the link to that afterwards, so you can uh, pop over and have a look and see what you think. Uh, you won't be able to buy anything on it, and we recommend that whatever you, whichever website you go to, whether it's ours or it's the USA one, uh, if you want to purchase an Oscar, then always ring us because otherwise you will end up paying. Uh, you, you may got may not get our discount. Well, you won't get our discount. Um, and uh, you may end up having to pay freight as well. So, so anything that goes out from here, your friends, yeah, tell yeah. your friends. Mm. Uh, always give us a call uh, because we'll give you the right price, and uh, and there won't be any. It'll be freight free to your doorstep mm -hmm. uh, in Australia. Mm. Um, I'm not sure whether it covers New Zealand. Mm. Have to think about that one. Mm. Anyway, um, that's it. Uh, yes, we're opening up in Bangalore. We have an office in Bangalore, which is in the um, you know southern part of India. And um, I'm looking forward to being there in a few weeks' time. And uh, I will report on that when hmm. I get back. That'll be the next That'll next be one. the next one. Yeah, yeah. So our next one is scheduled for the 10th of March. And uh, I will try not to press the fade to black button uh, next time. And Shirley will try not to get stung by a bee. Mm -hmm. um, and are there any other questions there that have uh, arisen, Shirley? Uh, why isn't that? Oh, there we go. Bronwyn's joined us. Hi Bronwyn. Um, great that you're watching with us. And no, that's 
Very, that's I, all. I see there. Gary's there. Gary, are you um, still riding that motorbike? I, Shirley won't let me get one. Uh, okay, I've done yep, my dash. I've had three bikes and um, I'm not allowed to buy another one no. because she says I'm elderly. I don't agree, but anyway. <laughs> All right, so that's... Uh, where's, the, where's the end button? Uh, I've got an end one here somewhere. Oh, here we are. So that's... Uh, Bye-bye, everybody. Um, good to um, connect with you again and we hope that you enjoyed it, that you found it interesting. And uh, we just love coming on and you know can, catching up with you all it's quite good fun I, I did come kicking and screaming in the beginning but now I'm, I'm enjoying it so yeah and uh, so, forgive me bye for bye. pressing the wrong buttons mm -hmm. but I don't have an operator it's it's just me night night everybody bye bye see ya <laughs>